what's up? I'm Catherine. Welcome to my channel. So I am in the middle of moving right now and as I've been packing everything up, I've also been packing up my makeup, duh, because I'm not just going to leave it here. And I've kind of like discovered old products like as I'm packing up I'm like oh I should use that more so that's what today's video is gonna be it's gonna be full face of products that I should use more so these are products that I like but for a reason I just don't use them as often so um yeah this should be fun little throwbacks here and there if you're new here I'd love to have you subscribe join the party and um, yeah, I'm just gonna kinda get started. So I'm gonna start out with my eyes. I pretty much use all my eye primers pretty equally. So I'm just gonna use my favorite right now, which is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. I talk about this a lot. So for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Yes Please palette. So this is a really cute palette. This is the first palette that they ever released. And I just don't really reach for it that often. So I'm gonna start out with this shade Champs up here. So I didn't buy this when it first came out. I actually, like this is maybe like my third or my fourth ColourPop palette. So by the time I had got this, these colors had just sort of already had their heyday. I got it just because like I realized how much I love ColourPop's formula and I just kind of wanted to like have their first ever palette just to like have it, you know? But as much as I do like warm tones, I feel like I do like warm purples and stuff a lot for sure. I don't think that I do these sorts of colors a whole bunch anymore. Like I feel like the, these like very reds and yellows like have their moment and it's sort of past. So I'm gonna go into note to self now. Not this one, this one. So I got this and it's great. Like it's the formula is just as good as all of ColourPop's eyeshadow palettes in my opinion but it's just like the colors don't really speak to me on that level you know what i'm saying it's so crazy because i think this only came out like two years ago and th like how many palettes has ColourPop launched since then like it's kind of crazy okay i'm gonna use the red which is the shade spoiled Instead of using one of the shimmers from this palette, I'm gonna use my Super Shock Shadow in Twitter Painted. I never use my Super Shock Shadows as much as I should. I think it's just because they're singles, there's like no way to like even combine them all in a palette. But then every time I use them, I'm like blown away. Like, look at that. Like, just like the texture that you can get from them. Because I love, 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 love textured eyeshadows. And you can really get like so much like of a foiled look out of these. They're so affordable. Does anyone else remember like a couple, like, I don't even think it was a couple. I think it was maybe just like a month ago. They launched these like extra glittery super shock shadows. I don't know what they were called, but they launched them and then they're just completely gone from their website. And I don't know what happened because they never like made an announcement about it. Like, cause like, it's like, you'd think if they sold out, they would make more of them. So I'm almost wondering if like, because they were glittery, they weren't really eye safe. Cause they keep like making these like glitter things that aren't really eye safe. And then like people are getting mad cause they're like marketed in a way where it's like not saying to put them on the eyes, but it is. So I'm really confused cause I actually really wanted to try them and then never got the chance to. Does anyone know what I'm talking about or like know what happened? I think Super Shock Extreme, that's what they were called. For primer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Glow Lotion. This was like one that I did not shut up about for like the longest time, but I kind of stopped reaching for this as it started to get hotter cause like my skin was already dewy enough. And I've gotten like so many primers lately that I really, really love. 
I think my absolute favorite at the moment is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. It's truly phenomenal. But this is like an OG primer that I really like. For my foundation, this might come as a surprise, I'm going to be using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. So this is one that I decluttered in theory. Like I put it in my little declutter bin and it was in my declutter video. But then when time came for me to actually like pack my little box that I had full of stuff that I was getting rid of, I was like, you know, I don't actually really want to get rid of this. Something about it just like calls to me. But then I don't reach for it that often. And I'm like, well, I should be reaching for it because obviously I wanted to keep it. But then like I've gotten so many that I love lately. I pretty much have exclusively been using the CoverGirl Vitalist foundation and my CYO Life Proof foundation and then the ColourPop stick foundation. Like those are the three like forerunners of my foundation rotation. But I mean this one is so so similar to the color not color pop the CoverGirl Vitalist foundation. There's like no, there's literally no reason I shouldn't be using it. I just, I just don't reach for it that often, but then I don't want to get rid of it. And it just makes no sense. I think it's really, really pretty, especially when I use it with a sponge like this, like sort of sheared out, really pressed into the skin. It's so beautiful, especially as it gets hotter. I've just been like the sheerer, the better with my foundation, if I even wear foundation. So my favorite sponge for sheer foundation is this AOA Wonder Sponge because it gets so big. My other sponges, I find that like the firmer the sponge is, the better coverage you get out of it. So like my Velvet Sponge and my like LA Girl Sponge, they're all like a little firmer. And I just want like a real sheer layer of foundation right now. See, like, that looks so nice on the skin. Oh, it's really bright. You can't even tell. Let me turn on the brightness. It looks really nice on the skin. So there's, like, no, like, I should use this all the time, right? Like, in theory. I don't know why I'm like this. Um, for concealer, I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. So this was, like, the only concealer I used for a little while. It was, like the ColourPop No Filter, and then this. And then concealers have like really had their moment this year. So I've gotten a ton of concealers and I try to rotate them out. I actually do a pretty good job rotating them out, but because I use this one for like the longest time, I don't like reach for it as much because I'm like, I know how you work. I know how you perform with other foundations. We'll use you another time, but I love this concealer. I don't think it's really like as much of a dupe for shape tape as everyone says it is, but it's just like nice. Gives decent coverage, but not too much. It's not too cakey, not too dry. And I'm gonna set it with my Joa Selfie Ready Peach Powder. I'm still like, the main reason I don't reach for this is that like I'm still not quite sure what their cruelty free status is. They're like a new brand and then I think they were like confirmed as cruelty free or like they like answered the questions right to a couple of influencers but then they're not like on all the lists that you would expect a cruelty free brand to be on but it's like they're still a new brand and apparently like getting like Leaping Bunny certified takes a while which is a good thing that it takes a while because that means they're like actually researching the brands that they're putting on their list and stuff. I did look into this some more after filming and Joa is apparently owned by Kiss, which is a cruelty free company and Joa is only sold in the United States as of right now. So it's pretty safe to assume that they are a cruelty free brand, even if they aren't Leaping Bunny certified yet. I don't really have brow products that I don't use. I feel like I use my brow products pretty equally. So I'm just gonna get my brows off camera for the sake of time and I'll be right back. All right, for highlighter, I'm gonna go back into my Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo. I feel like this was the only highlighter I used for like months. 
and then like I purposely stopped using it because I was like oh I use that too much and then I'm like oh now I like don't use it at all so I'm going into the gold side because we got a warm toned look going on and I think I'm just gonna top this off with a little bit of the pink to help it pop the gold's just like a little deep for my skin tone. All right, for blush, I'm gonna use my Anastasia blush palette. This is the light one, but one of my subscribers also sent me the dark one, which is really, really pretty, but it doesn't quite go with this look. So I just like have pretty much exclusively used the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne Blush for like the longest time, but obviously that's gonna come to a bit of an end. And there's really like no true reason I shouldn't use this. I think the main thing is that like the blushes are a little intense, so I kind of have to use like a light hand with them. I think I also just really like to use like affordable stuff on my channel, so like I kind of try to like avoid using my more expensive stuff when I'm actually filming just because like I'd like it if most of what I use is at a relatively accessible price point if that makes sense. Then I'm gonna use my LA Girl blush in Just Bare for bronzer. I don't use this a lot because I don't really use any bronzer a whole lot but I really really love the formula of this. I also had the blush in Just Natural, which was like one of my holy grail blush shades, and the packaging broke. So I might repurchase that now that Wet n Wild's not cruelty free, and I don't want to use my holy grail blush on my channel anymore. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this red under my eye. Any of my mascaras that I don't use, I like actually don't use for a reason because I don't love the formula, so they don't really fit this video. So I'm just gonna do my mascara real quick and I'll pop right back. And I'm gonna finish off with my Physicians Formula Healthy Lip in All Natural Nude. I don't really do lip products a whole lot in general. I just get really lazy and like to slap on a lipstick, but this is like one of the best liquid lipstick formulas. It's truly so comfortable. And there she is, a good warm nude lip. This is the complete look. It's very cute, summery, pretty chill. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing some products that I definitely haven't had on my channel in at least a couple of months. Definitely would love to hear like what your products that you should use more but don't are and like why you don't use them as often. I feel like for most of us, it's probably just that we have a lot and stuff gets forgotten. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.